Hey everyone, my name is Kaching Song. I am the community manager on the Fusion 360 team. You can see behind me, we're at BattleBots 2021 World Championships. There's about 65 teams here in Las Vegas competing for that number one title. And uh, yeah, we want to give you guys an inside look at some of the teams, what they're like, what inspired them to design the robots that they've designed. And uh, yeah, just an inside look. So come on in and uh, let's check it out. All right, so we're gonna go talk to Martin from Team Mad Catter. Uh, Cause I heard that he uses Fusion 360 and Inventor at the school that he teaches. So we're gonna talk to him about that. We're gonna ask him some questions about the team. So yeah, let's go, let's go check him out. Hey Martin. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, good man. I'm Kaching. I'm with the Fusion 360 team over there. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, we're here to come and talk to you about the team and sure. about you. And uh, come and take a seat. Sure. sure. Uh, yeah, we can we can stand like in your space or whatever. When okay. Yeah. Now we're kind of in the, the oh in the here. AC. That's right. It's too much of a wind tunnel. Okay. You, you want to go over on that? Yeah. Let's go over there. Let's go yeah, over there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm here with Mad Catter. Uh, let's let's hear from you. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey, I'm uh, I'm Martin Mason. I'm the captain of Mad Catter. We're a team out of Mount San Antonio College, which is in Pomona, California. And you know, I'm here with my students. It's something we've done for a few years, and it's just it's so great for. Them. That's so cool. I love it when when colleges and universities get together and and come to this competition. Uh, it's really cool to see. What what got you into robotics? You know, I, I've been in the engineering program at the college for years and robotics is just such a great way to get students from kind of all different branches of engineering. I mean, people think about it, what a mechanical does and what an electrical does is so different and they're all in this, this same department. How do we get them to work together? And robotics is just perfect. For yeah, yeah, that's so cool. You know, I was watching your match yesterday and there were some folks uh, around me and they were saying that your classes, the tests that you give out to your 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 uh, your students, you call them experiences. <laughs> Actually, we call them celebrations. Celebrations. That's celebrations right. Celebrations. That's right. That, that's right. Yeah. It, 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 what inspired you to, to come up with that? You know, it's it. Uh, it's a friend of mine at Australia Mountain College did it, and he said, you know what? You know, people have test anxiety. Nobody has party anxiety. So we just make every test a party. Right, we do streamers, balloons, all kinds of stuff. That's so. Do you see? Do you see a, like an improvement in test scores because of that? I, I think so. I think you know a, a good class is one where students are invested. they they see the instructor's passion. They get invested. They do the work. And however instructors can do that, you know, more power to them. Uh, let's talk about your team for a bit. What what is the inspiration behind Mad Mad Catter? <laughs> well. You know, I, I started doing combat robots with the students. We did a, we, I was teaching a uh, uh, intro to engineering signals and systems class, and I thought, final project, we're gonna have them build combat robots. Pretty random, and yeah. you got all these EEs trying to figure out how to bend metal, and, and you know, it, it went really well. We had a great time with it. And my, my daughter was involved, she was very young. She was really into cats. So, you know, we named the team, Team Bad Kitty. And I, I think with Bad Catter, we've always tried to be a little unusual. You know, maybe the spinner, it's not in the middle of the robot, it's off to one side. Maybe we've got three parts that can break apart and drive separately. You know, we've, we've done a lot of different stuff over the seasons. Maybe we can talk a bit about like your robot sure, in terms yeah. of like, uh, you want to come over yeah, to maybe we can get some get right, some footage around that. Yeah, let, let's give us a give us a co quick overview of how how this robot is like put together. Sure. Uh, how and yeah, how it's designed really. Yeah, so I think you know one of the things we really wanted to do is be fast. So uh, we actually have six motors on drive, and that's not just fast; it's also redundant. Um, and and one of the things you're going to see for us is a lot of plate work, right? Um, we are we consider ourselves to be a fairly low budget team. So a lot of what we do is we, we cut flat plate on our plasma cutter or with one of our sponsors and weld it together. So you're gonna see a lot of that. You're gonna see a lot of aluminum plate bolted in. And you know, it's really this kind of 2D to 3D design. We do a lot of work with students that, you know, you can make really complex structures by just um, taking flat plates and, and making, yeah. making jigs and putting them together. And so you can see, we get pretty nice compound angles all made out of flat plate. And yeah. you know, again, CAD is critical to making all this happen. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, it's one of the things we've been so happy with is that the students get these skills and they can they can build something yeah, like this, right? That's so cool. 
The last question for you, as a professor, a teacher, uh, you see a lot of students come through the program, a lot of kids watch the show. Uh, if they want to get into robotics, what's, what's your advice for them? You know, we are in a golden age of robotics right now. There are so many elementary school, middle school, high school robotics competitions, and that's such a great way to get started, and, and you know, we, we continue those on at the university level. But this is it, and you know what, robotics is, is a sport just like baseball. In fact, I think robotics is going to be the American sport, right? Because, you know, this, these are kids that are, that are using their brains, using their hands, and really coming away with skills that they can use their entire lives. Yeah. So cool. Hey, Martin, pleasure to talk to you. Sure. This has been great. And uh, yeah, good luck on the competition. Thanks.